The internet is a machine built to share information. It's been compared to a web, a superhighway, and a series of pipes. But really, the internet is so big and so awesome that these analogies fall flat. For the first time in human history, we can take any piece of information and move it at the speed of light from anywhere to anywhere. Well, almost anywhere. In many places around the world, governments are controlling what their people can and can't see online. Filters are just one of their tools. Filters are like virtual checkpoints. They scrutinize foreign internet traffic, searching for content that's been prohibited by the government. Information that governments don't like isn't allowed to cross the border. For example, France and Germany filter sites that deny the Holocaust. Syria filters YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, Hotmail, and pro-Kurdish sites. United Arab Emirates filters sites ending in Israel's country code, .il. Who's providing countries with filtering technology? U.S. corporations. These include companies like Google and Microsoft. Some of the same brands we use to open the flow of information at home are shutting it down abroad. In China, Google submits results pre-approved by the government. Microsoft's Chinese blog service rejects the word democracy in blog titles. In 2005, the journalist Shi Tao was sentenced to 10 years in prison thanks to information that Yahoo's email service turned over to the Chinese authorities. Countries are blocking words such as sex, naked, nudie, ass, and Falun Gong. In Myanmar, the only legal internet is a small collection of state-approved sites, run and controlled by the government. Internet cafes capture screen grabs every five minutes, allowing authorities to observe what a user is browsing. In Cuba, all private internet access is banned. Accessing the internet from your home can lead to up to five years in prison. Counter-revolutionary activity, 20. Number of Cubans presently in jail for their online activities, 24. Afghanistan is one of the 10 poorest countries in the world. Only 1% of the population has access to the internet. In January 2008, the government sentenced journalist Syed Pervez Kambaksh to death for downloading and distributing a document defending women's rights. With 48 internet users in jail, China has more surfers in prison than any other country. It maintains the Great Firewall, a sophisticated set of filters that block words like Dalai Lama and Taiwanese independence. China even has its own virtual police team, Jingjing and Cha Cha, who pop up twice an hour in cyber cafes to remind users of correct web browsing habits. According to Reporters Without Borders, there were more than 2,600 websites, blogs, or forums shut down or blocked in 2007. 63 online journalists, internet users, and bloggers are imprisoned worldwide.